Welcome everybody back to Sally Face. We're gonna keep on continuing with episode two. Gizmo watching his stuff. What you watching, buddy? Oh. Yeah, I get it. Uh sorry about the crickets. Didn't hear that. Got my turtle beaches on, so it's hard to hear. Um Sandy's falling. Really? Really? Every time I start recording, you're just going to chirp now? Every time. Oh, now you be quiet. Okay. Okay. Also, I fixed my chair so it's not as squeaky. It's still squeaky, it's just not as squeaky. Uh, I forgot what we were looking for. Um, sorry, face, Larry, face. Oh, talk to my dad. Hey, dad. Yeah, dog right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Bye, dad. Well, at least the cricket shut up now. I think. I hope. Yeah. Oh! Right above me, the camera's gone. Oh, whoops. It's not funny anymore. It's a dead meme. I'm a dead meme. Shut up. Must not be home. Okay, what am I looking for? How do I see what I'm looking for? Oh, there. Find Gear Boy upgrades, which is what? Oh, it could be in the um, basement. So, yeah. Hopefully I didn't end it right before the next episode. Um, nothing that we can use right now. Okay. There's like a toolbox right there, but okay. Um, so, yeah. Having a good time. Good old, good old time. But there's nothing... Oh, there's nothing to note inside of this one. Okay. Yep, still nothing in the bathroom. Still no demon. Larry's room. Maybe Larry has it. <coughs> Ow, my throat did something weird. Aw. That picture above Sal's head. I'll probably just zoom in on it. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be fu She'll be alright. Real- David. No, please. The change of season always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Real- Cricket! Please. I'm going to try to kick the wall that I think the cricket's at. Because there's nothing else I can do. I think if there's ever a cut, it's just the cricket acting up. So, if there's a cut, now you know why. Bug off. Wish I had some of that right now. Alright, first floor. Miss Rosenberg's. Oh god, it's this lady. Nope! Not doing that again. 101, Gibson. Would kill me if I bother her again. Death is not good. Uh, in most cases. Addison! How may I help you, Sal? Mm, go by. Good day. Uh, where's all this stuff? I don't even remember what I was looking for again. Because I took like a day break from this game. So I could upload and edit. Um. 
too. Also, sorry if you can hear my cl keyboard click be clacked in. It's right by my mic. That's what I forgot to zoom in on when I edited the last video. Oh well. It happens. In case you didn't know, it was Todd's room. That was big fish. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all this technology, as they put it. Me too, Bob. Ted. Todd. What? Will this work for a reception? Hmm, the antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. Okay. Will this work for the power? Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Right back. Okay, so I need something for reception. So something with an antenna. Where did I see an antenna? Maybe it's in Charlie's old place. Nope. Okay. Yep. Alright. It was so funny editing this, these videos because you could like hear each footstep or see each footstep in the editing process. It's so funny. To me, it's funny. It's not funny to anybody else. Nobody else gets excited about that type of stuff. But me. Um. Oh wait, there should be a radio mirror, right? Or is that in Larry's room? It's in one of the rooms. Oh. Ooh. No, you can do that. I'll just go into Larry's room next. See how that goes. Oh, but there's like this. Oh. Well. Good job, Eric. Good job. Wasted so much time just doing that. But whatever, it's done now. Let's get back to Todd. Bam. Okay. Okay. The super gear boy. Oh, I keep forgetting to read this. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be the in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm worried for a second. However, unfortunately, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts for your walkie talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay. Though, it's for- it's okay though, it's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with an antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it is flashing, press R button to reduce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize near apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for, for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing, pressing shit. Hmm, maybe I... Excuse me? 
It worked! Holy crap. Uh, hello, what's the matter? <laughs> I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no! What, what, what is it? He's here. Who? Red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go, I'm sorry. That was fully formed and conscious apparition. I have never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I, it's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill for excitement today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check out, make sure it's okay. Okay. Oh, ow. Okay. Chapter 3. I have no idea what this is. I don't think I played this. Sorry, members only. Got it, Mr. Good Mustache Man. Sounds like someone's crying. Better make sure that they're okay. Can I quit? All these rooms look the same. Yeah, I noticed that, Greg. Oh. Oh! Tells you if you're going the right way. Nope, didn't go the right way. Down. And this way. Okay, I'm just going to leave. Is there any way to leave? Yes. Okay. That means I'm going to go to Larry's bathroom real quick. Because I, I want to see if I can see the... Or talk to him about this too. Because I can't call him anymore. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? And that's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh, oh, yeah. He needed parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn. Well, that's okay. Hopefully, it will help you find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Oh, he doesn't want to follow. Hasta la vista, Sally. There's nothing in here from what I see. So let's go to his kitchen first. Ah! I knew it! Those are games I'm unlocking. Okay, there's nothing in his bathroom. 
Oh, that's clever. Okay, I see how this is works now. So I should just really hold it out all times. There's no real reason to put it away, I guess. That's so cool. I like this. I'm liking this a lot more now. Oh, that's a squeaky chair. Where are we going? Yep. Oh, do you think I could see hamster? What the fuck? Oh my, what a horrific device you have. It's, uh, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I just wanted to see a rabbit. I did not want to see that. Whatever that was. Oh, I should have gone to the treehouse. I'm going to go to the treehouse real quick. Nope, I thought that was the elevator. I don't know why, because I'm stupid. Thanks, edit to me. We're probably saying that I was stupid somewhere in this. Uh, wait, wait, so how does, hold on. I just realized like the logistics of this layout. If you go into Larry's room, how does it lead outdoors unless it's like a like, shed thing. Okay. That, that actually is still like, wow. Are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. N Sal. S Nia. Liv. Uh, and I. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I haven't have much time. Remember. Red, y'all. You remember the red ball? What do you mean? What are you? I have to go now. It is. Red ball. Die. Just when I thought I was going to get used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Well, I should probably go check, check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. What red ball? What red ball? Do I have the red ball? Wait. Oh, okay. I don't have a red ball. I'm going to go to Charlie's rooms next. I know it says go to Todd, but I'm going to check in Charlie's room. Oh, whoops. God. I don't think there's anything in here, right? Besides the supernatural paintings of my dreams. But, you know. Maybe there's something over here. I probably already checked over here and you know that. 
eight, three. Oh, that's also Todd's floor, so it's killing two birds with one stone. Oh wait, no. This isn't Charlie's floor. College students. Okay. What was Charlie's floor? Was it two? It's probably two. For Philo. Yeah. Um, what? Something back here. Okay. I'm like so interested right now. <laughs> like, this is so cool. Um. Oh, Todd. Yeah, Todd was on. S What is going on in 201? Also, I gotta check every kitchen. It's just something I gotta do. Ever since, like, going to Larry's kitchen, saw the red eyed demon, and then. or red eyed man. Oh. Alright, Todd. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murmurs. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any other officers that were here that the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all or... Like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure. But I did one fi find one thing interesting. Thing. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7. Lived in the Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be a little friend from upstairs. She must have been the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was talking about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating the girl was found dead in Windigo Lake. That's a few miles south from here, along with her parents. Says they've been fishing, fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Oh, wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps that necklace will help somehow. It actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to, to remember where the hell I saw that. Did, did Todd say the girl's name was Lucy? Hold on. I know exactly where I've seen that necklace before. Oh wait, no. Never mind, I'm stupid. Oh wait. Where did I see that necklace? Have I seen that necklace? Maybe it's in here. Oh, what if Larry is a ghost? Dude, that'd be wild. Let me go check the lost found, see if it's in the lost and found box. Oh. Wow. Okay, work your magic whenever it's ready. Megan? Are, are you with us? 
This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> you have to forgive him, Megan. He's a bit scared, whatever. It's okay. My daddy says some bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I am. I have been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah. That's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know one? Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend? I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Do you remember anything else about him? Um. Just that he was nice and always brought me candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much. But I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice, like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned to angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Windigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's... That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies are friends then. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Mm. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes! Where'd you find that? It was downstairs at the bottom of the lake of the lost and found box. My mommy gave that me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it to me. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind go getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. There's also newspaper mail I don't want to see. So what I'm getting is this was their apartment before shit went whack. It's the pentagram. Yep. I remember that. That didn't look so good. cheating for that. I just want to see how many more unlocks I need to get. Uh, I need to get three more. Yeah, this is interesting. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding me up, up my shelf right now. See, 
those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids and alls, but had these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and shell falls right down. If you can talk to them for for me, get them to a little quieter, then I could let you use part of the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I ain't clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party poopies, you know? It's no problem. Be right back. See us. Okay. Let's see, guys. Yeesh. I'm just checking. Hey Sierra, what are you up to? Oh hi Sally. I'm contemplating the alternative activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look at your list? Sure. How about this? Ew, we usually do D&D on Thursday, so I still want to do something different tonight. Debate? How about this? The gang doesn't look like a good... The gang does like a good debate, but last time things got pretty heated. Probably be best to pick something else. How about this? Movie marathons are always fun, but... Unfortunately, I don't think we're able to hear very well with everything going on. How about this? That's usually my go-to choice. That could work. How about this? It's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? Try and choose music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. How about this? Dude, I think this will put everyone to sleep. Huh? Okay. Can I check those songs again? How about this? Love a good choice, little man. No, wait. How about this? It's unexpected classy. I think this could work. Okay. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, trying to choose the game for the party tonight. Got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guess. How about this game? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of Gary School. That's a touch, touch of nostalgia. This that could be what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. I'm not moving it. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. Fuck yeah. What's up, brother? It's easier. Well, it says it's much quieter now. Oh, maybe I should say. Can I borrow your crowbar? It worked all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me. Sarah, we're happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blown up to pieces. Glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thanks. You too. Okay, just slam the door in my face. Okay. So far, so good.
I should be able to pull these boards off with a crowbar. Yes. Please don't make it set me right into the room. Okay. I'm going to do something a little risky. Actually, no. I should... Okay. It wants me to investigate the bedroom. So I'm going to go downstairs. And I'm going to pull off the boards for this room. Over here. Yes. Because the camera's gone, I shouldn't get caught. Yeah. Mrs. Sanderson? Who are you? My name's Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces like waking from a dream. Do you know what happened to my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Movers came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. You must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is torturous. I wish we could have moved for, to this place. Then he would never have met them. And Charlie would never... Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Mrs. Sanderson. Go. Hide. Goodbye, Sam. Two more. Just have to find two more. So Charlie did do something. Can't deny that fact. But what he did, we do not know. Okay. Stacy, are you okay? Dude, what the fuck? Like, like, literally, legitimately, what the fuck? There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Yep. Oh, it's pointing. It literally means no return. Hello. Desperately sought to place among the councils, so hath the aspiring witch travel deep into the castle for the initial trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. Okay, it didn't. Could only go in one direction at a time. Jeez. Okay. This is actually surprisingly hard. Of course I went the harder way. Not too responsive. Are you no, please, Jesus, fast forward.
I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes your great resolve you've shown us today. Let the book stand as testament to your place among the ranks from henceforth. May our sign, peace, be heavens, and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. Oh. Okay, so I'm using a gamepad now. I should have probably played these throughout this game. So, the problem with mouse and keyboard oh, fucking hell, is that it has a slight delay to it. So, it's like as you're doing something, it delays it. I guess it's just to make it harder or something. And reward those with the gamepad. So, I guess consoles aren't all that bad. I'm kidding, I don't care. Console, PC, as long as we can all be friendly. A. Okay. Is there anything I could do with these or no? Nope. They're just there. I've learned anything just stick to one wall I just realized I'm playing Handlebar Mustache Dude from uh, the other chapter. Ow. He knew not why, there, why he was drawn to this place yet. Could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt paths before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity or... Perhaps it was just destiny. Oh yeah, this one. So, I might actually want to get a piece of paper out for this. And a pin. I have like a whole bunch of pins and none of them are nearby me. Of course not, that's my drink. Hey guys. Just kidding. Oh, oh I'm gonna stand up real quick, grab a pin. Yeah. And I'm back. So it's it's not up here, right? Up. Right. Down. Right? Oh, wow, okay. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montaigne. I didn't know mean to intrude on you. It's just I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for my, mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried reason to reason with them, I've reached, reached my wit's end. I understand, I lost my family last year in a big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see that kind lady, such as yourself, so broken up. I'd like to help you however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awfully kind of you, Mr. Montaigne. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. Holmes, you couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that is glad to be helpful to a nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. 
When her husband learned what indiscretion Stacy knew that there wasn't t time left and feared for her life and feared for her life, she turned to an unlikely Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. Hope I can pull this off. Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh! 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 Okay. Now we're getting some story. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to tell you all my ideas after this is done. Because, holy crap. This is clever. I like this. I'm guessing we're going to have to go to the basement. And you guys probably already seen it, but... Can't take that now. Oh yeah, you can't take... Okay, Rosenberg, I cut all the powers and Greg's d disposed of the bones. Good, and I've destroyed the seventh book. Will that really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things like this get far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke and had to get your life, your family involved. Rosen! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. There's a lot going on, and I'm just like taking everything in. If we can stop the ritual. Then the council won't be able to have another chance to perform for it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Playtime was interrupted by promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she's gone too far deep into unfamiliar woods. We're playing as Rosenberg, which is that girl. Oh, okay. This is another one of those. Choose your things. Okay, we're back to the start. Okay. Can go down. Okay, hold on, wait, what? Went up, went this way. Went down, and I went this way. Let's go up. It all looks so much the same. But what if I go down? No. No. Because then, yeah, the tree of life is here. Or death. What? Okay. Gonna go down again.
power sign. The hold on, the power's dying. Oh no, the power's dying. We can go up instead. You can like see it, see it slowly fading with every room I go into. I'm just going to guesstimate my way through. Shit, dude. Oh, fucking hell. Um, let's go this way. No! Then I'll go down. This time we'll go this way. There! You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. It's lost and I'm so dark and, and hush now. My sweet angel, everything's okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. So that was Megan, the little girl. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of a castle searching for the final components of the council requirement. I hate these levels. I hate these so much. It's probably because I was using the keyboard though, so my fault. I have no idea where I'm going either, so just kind of hoping it will lead me to the right area. Oh, well, that's one thing. Oh, you have to collect them. And I'm guessing you have to do it before the battery runs out. No. Oh, okay. At least it saved that. Jesus Christ. Like, come so close to just spiking myself on these spikes. Oh, I thought they twitched. Like, the spikes don't twitch, do they? Because apparently these ones do. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm going to go go get the last one, which I hope is up here. Oh, I was here. Okay. That's why I didn't go down before, because I knew it would probably lead me back there. Okay. So then it's all the way over here. There it is. I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay with the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. In 
the moment he found himself somewhere else, even though Luke was wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must have been done. The woman in the threat. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together. We cannot afford any obstacles. Oh, this dude's so fast. The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood flowing through her veins. Oh, are they talking about Megan? Oh, somebody messaged me. She probably saw that on my phone. Why? Oh, whoops. Well, Levi just messaged me. Welcome me into the Undying Flame, and our power shall be endless. Oh, that's that's a statue of oh, fuck. that's a statue of me, isn't it? God, this dude's so fast. I'm like literally using the. The um, directional buttons on a gamepad. <laughs> Guess you just have to sacrifice. Well, Luke, can you hear me? Luke? What the hell just happened? Dad gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically, theoretically, you could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you're okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew the Addison's apartments had such a dark past? Thought living here with Charlie was freaking, was freaking damn. This shit is just nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to take care of it. Oh. What is it? No, it's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this means my dad, he just, he just... Come here, buddy. It's okay. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are not giving me the look. Wait. That was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your child in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things just don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it. From my perspective, the evidence against you for what you did? Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds. But what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please just go and you'll see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, huh?
Oh, there's going to be a dead body in here, isn't there? Oh, shit. Floof. Filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Rusty tools and various junks. The old amateur paintings. Probably Larry's. There's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess. I just needed to see for myself. So I was so convincing, and this whole thing seemed. <laughs> Dr. Ian? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of this jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought, please. You had to get Sal here. This. This is your. You. You can't be. Calm down, dude. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Shit. Wait, what? Do what? No, what? Come on. Are you shitting me? Well, that was Sally Face Part Episode 2. Um. What? Okay, sorry, I'm confused. Okay, the stuff with the Game Boy, and I didn't get to la play the last one. Oh, damn it. I, I didn't get to play the last one, but... Um, the stuff with the Game Boy, the one that I started getting all the realizations. You were playing in the Addison Apartments, when you had to cut the power. And you were also playing as Megan, Lost in the Woods. And Greg, which I think was Megan's dad. I'm Rosenberg, the the old lady that did the weird, creepy shit whenever I did the Game Boy thing on her. Dude, that is that is crazy, man. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's the end of episode two. Hopefully, episode three is just as good. It's probably going to be even better. Larry's dead. So it's definitely not Larry. He, Larry couldn't kill. Oh my god, what the fuck? I, I don't know. Wow. It was good, but... Alright. Goodbye, guys. Um, see you next time. Peace, peace.